Shauna wants to buy a new bicycle that has a retail price of two fifty nine ninety nine. She knows that it will be on sale next week for thirty percent off the retail price. If the tax rate is seven percent, find the total amount to the nearest cent that she will save by waiting until next week. The total now is two fifty nine ninety nine plus seven percent of two fifty nine ninety nine. You can change an of to a times in this case. And 7%, you can change to 0.07. We move the decimal two times to the left. If it was right there, you move it one time, two times, put in a zero there, and you get 0.07. If you do the calculation on that, you get 278.1893. Now, I'm not rounding that because they want it to the nearest cent. So I shouldn't round it to the nearest cent right now. It might be off by about a cent at the end, and they might take off a point. Um, so I should round it at the very end. OK, well, what about the total next week? Well, the total next week, you first need to find the sale price, and then we're going to add 7% um, to the sale price. You only do the tax after you've got the sales price. Um, that's the way it works in real life. Uh, you do not get taxed on whatever the price of the item was before a discount. You only get uh, taxed on whatever the discounted price is. All right, so let's take off the 30% discount first. And if you put that in a calculator, you'll get 241.79. Okay, now we need to add 7% of 241.79 to 241.79. Um, if you do the calculation, you'll get 258.7153. Okay, so the savings is whatever you get when you do the 278 number minus the 258. And you have to put it in like this. And now let's do the calculation. And we get 19.474. But they said they want it to the nearest cent. So where's the cents place? It's at the 7. So you look to the number to the right. That's the 4. Is it 5 or above? Nope. So you just go with 19.47. You don't have to round up.